I know you want to know if I like this song, so I'll let you know very soon. But first, to get early access and uncut videos of the things we upload, join our Patreon. The links are in the descriptions. Hmm. And if this video gets a thousand likes or more, I'll react to another reaction on this artist immediately. And the cat to be saved too. <laughs> Just kidding about the cat part. You made it to the coolest reaction channel on the planet. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, this is a special reaction because I said so. <laughs> Uh, we recently did a reaction to a band that was new to the channel called Corella. I think I'm spelling, I'm pronouncing it right. And they were from New Zealand um, or a part of New Zealand. And um, I thought, what the hell? Let's do another New Zealand um, musician. So I went with Stan Walker. Now, several, several months ago, we did react to Stan Walker collaborating with Kobe D father's eyes heard that for the first time and i loved it loved it loved it hope you check that out if i remember i'll put the link in this description so you can go to check it out but haven't heard stan walker by himself so this is his song called i am haven't heard that yet we don't pre-watch anything so uh hopefully it'll be a treat so i thought i'd represent new zealand and do an, uh, another new zealand musician uh, so in any event, make sure that you support the musician. I'm going to have the link inside the description so you can go right there and support them. Uh, and then, uh, that's pretty much it. I'll comment to you a little bit later. So I'm pretty eager to hear what this is all about. And thanks for tuning in. Here we go.
Well, damn. Well, damn. What a way to make a first impression. And I mean, first impression, this is my first time seeing just him. As I said, we reacted to him with Kobe D, but they shared the part. I, it's been a long time. I just knew that. I remember that I heard it. I loved it. I don't remember exactly how it sounded, but this is a first time hearing just him. This is all him. What a sucker punch of musicality. I really, really love that. And sometimes when I hear songs, certain words pop up in my head, like as I'm hearing the song continuously. And actually, three words popped up in my head. Anthemic, because it feels like it could be a song that you could sing. I say that when um, there's songs that it sounds like you can sing it and chant it when you're walking down the street. Not alone, but a whole bunch of you walking down the street like an anthem song. And then also, I, it's you never really, I guess, hear these words together, but like unity and also individuality, they popped in my head. Like, and you would think, well, they're totally opposite. They are. So like he was saying so many, it was like a metaphor thunderstorm in there um, of things that he was saying, like we are the rivers, we are the oceans, we are the seas. And... And seeing that and also knowing that um, when it was showing like him in like a tribe all like in the deep into the forest and stuff, which I really loved it. That was so powerful. Like they gave that stare like we are together. We are unity. That's something that's very, very uh, necessary in our own worlds, in our own existence. There's times when we as a people need to band together for things we believe in, to fight or defend, um, to stand up for things. Um, let's say you're having a problem at your job and you're not you're getting unfair treatment. Some people band together and have a strike or just voice their opinions. Not saying it's things you want to do, but sometimes you have to band together because in some situations, just you, you alone is not enough. So sometimes you have to band together, like the rivers and the streams he mentions as. And at the same time, individuality because as a single person as yourself i am like the title says you have to also be strong within yourself you have to believe within yourself you have to have that strong dignity because there's time first of all no matter where you go there you are i say that sometimes because you're stuck with yourself 24 7 so the first 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 person that you need to believe in and to stand up for is your damn self and then once you can stand up for yourself and believe in yourself, then you can stand up with other people and believe in them whenever there's like a common cause. Um, I just love that. It was like a juxtaposition between individuality. Up oh, must be a fantastic individuality and and unity. I just love it. Very, very anthemic. The visuals, the visuals were magical. They were really powerful. They were so um it just really made you enjoy watching it even more. Like they were just so, and they took pride in, it. I just love that pride in it, unity. And I love stands like, um, uh, I don't know what you call them designs or, or I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily war paint, maybe. Um, and his garments. And then it was just so powerful. Like, I love that. I, I can't recall the last time or if I've ever seen a music video that had that, like it had that, that moment where you saw this this strong unity um, and it just was powerful just standing there like even when he was by himself when he was by himself which is the individuality he looked strong and stoic and he took pride in himself and then when he was with um, his tribe or, or a bunch of people it was that unity and they also stood strong so I like how it gave you both because there's both times in life when you should be prideful and you should be there because you have to have resilience um many times in life unfortunately here's a here's a here's a fact for anybody that might be clueless the world is not a hundred percent wonderful and great and awesome unfortunately stuff goes on sometimes you have many times you have to fight for yourselves you have to fight for your 
or your uh, community. Um, and un that's the unfortunate truth. So I like how this song is like, it's either a reminder to some people that may have forgotten or it's a new lesson for people that didn't know. And I just say that. Wow, I did. So um, I loved it. Wow. I'm showing my cards early. Well, I've, I've been showing my cards early. So this is a really good first impression because, again, this is the first time I'm seeing Stan. This is his show. He's running the show. So um, let's get to it. This is the part of our show. We always do our thumbs up pass if you like a song. Thumbs down ass if you don't. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Really, really loved it. And I forgot to mention at the beginning before the video. So it says Stan Walker is an Australian, New Zealand singer, actor, oh, and television personality. In 2009, Walker was the winner of the seventh season of Australian Idol. Oh, okay. He subsequently signed a recording contract with Sony Music Australia. All right. Well, there you go. I did not know that. That's all I know. Because I don't like the research too much. I like you to educate us. So way to go, New Zealand. New Zealand in the house. So you uh, you did it. All right. So there we go. So anyway, this is Taz with Taz and Philly. Thanks for tuning in. And I want you all to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>